Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to link a MySQL database to a to a Microsoft Access database using WAM Server. First of all, you need two software programs, WAM Server and Microsoft and MySQL ODBC connector. So if you don't already have these programs installed on your computer, you can download it from the net and install it. Now I'm going to show you how to download the the ODBC connector. So open up a browser and you simply type ODBC connector. We click on the first option and then navigate through the pages. And as you can see, we have several um, options for the various operating systems. Now I'm going to choose a 64 bit and click on the download link here. When you arrive at this page, you can either log in or sign up to download or you can go straight to start the download here and the download should start anytime yes as you can see it's it start download here now what I'm going to do is cancel this download because I already have this um, software downloaded so I'm going to show you how to install this this um, program so I'm going to the folder that I have it located as you can see I also have the WAM server downloaded I'm going to install the MySQL connector. So I'm going to double click on it and click on run. And click next. And you shall read the, um, the license agreement and click accept and then click next. On this setup page, we will choose a setup type as custom. And click next. Leave the default as is. Click next and install. You click on the finish button and install have completed. Now you can do the same thing if you have downloaded the WAM server and go to the same process of installation. Now I've already started my WAM server as you can see down on the right hand side tree here it's on green so what I'm going to do is click on it and put online. Once it turned back green you know it is online so there we go. So you click on it again and we go to PHP my admin. On this home page what we are going to do is create a database. So we can either create a database uh, using this option here or SQL where you hard code the, um, the script. So what I'm going to do is just choose the first option and where you see create database I'm going to type the database name. So I'm going to name this database mall and click create. As you can see database mall has been created. Now I'll on the left hand pane I'll select my database mall and what you're gonna do is create a table. So you can name I will name it the table shoppers and I'll give it let's say four columns and click on go. As you can see here the, the columns that we have um choose so what I'm gonna do is name these columns. So the first column I will name ID. The second I'll name F name short for first name. Third column I'll name L name again short for last name. The last column you'll probably want to give it a, a contact number, so name tel telephone number. We will leave the, the first column type as int, we will change the second one as varcha, and also the third as varcha, and we'll also name give the um, last column a, a varcha type. 
we can leave this put this about uh, let's say 10 this uh, 20 which is the link also 20 telephone numbers you can probably give it about we'll give it 20 also we'll scroll to this end and we will check AI which is auto increment which will increment um, the ID and we'll give the first column uh, as the primary key so what we want to do now is just save our table so we just scroll back here and we click on save and our table if you click if we ever notice on the left hand pane here this is our table that we have created shoppers if you click on it you can see the fields that we have um, named here so what I'm gonna do is just minimize this window create a database in Microsoft Access 2010 so I click on start all programs and locate my Microsoft Access um, Office folder and what I'm gonna do is hold on the shift key right click on Microsoft Access and run as administrator Now when when office has been opened up what you're going to do is create a blank a, a new database so you click on blank database and you down at the right here we name the database I'm gonna name it MS1 and click on create by default there's a table that they left been here now I, I'm not going to use that table so I'm gonna close off that table and we go to external data ODBC databases and what I'm going to do is link the data source by creating a link table which is a second option click on OK now we'll go to machine data source and create a new connection what I'm going to do is select system data source which is a second option click on next and I'm going to locate my ODBC um, driver click on next and click finish now we're going to name this data source you can name it anything I'm going to name it mysql con and here for the server type we're going to type in localhost and user going to be root and what you're going to do is select the database. Our database that we have created in the MySQL is called MOL. So we select MOL and we test. You can see connection is successful and we click on OK and we click OK again. As you can see here, that our table shoppers has been um, displayed. What you're going to select that and click OK. As you can notice on the left pane here, our table shoppers have shown up. So what I'm going to do is double click on it to open it. As you can see here, the name fields that we have um, name our fields. So I'm going to input some data, some sample data. I'm just only going to do three um, sample data. Alright, so here's our sample data. I'm going to save this. Now, these data that I have entered here should show up in my MySQL database. So, what I'm going to do is minimize this and go to my MySQL database and as you can see the same data that I've entered in my access database is, is being shown here so what I'm gonna do is delete one of these here and it should affect my um, access database so I'm click on delete and delete the first um, data so if I go back to my access database as we can see here the first item has been deleted 
So that's it again for linking MySQL database to access database. Thank you again for watching.